All right, a couple notes as we start this next unit, expressions and equations. We need to review what like terms are. Like terms are terms that can be added together or subtracted. Okay, for example, if I have the expression 2b plus 3 plus b plus 4a, I have like terms right here and here. Since they both have a b, they can be added together. So 2b plus 1b would be 3b. 4 or 3 right here, there's no other term that is just a number without a letter. So I can't add anything to that. So that would just stay 3. And 4a, there's no other term that has an a. So I can't add anything to that either. So that would simplify to 3b plus 3 plus 4a. Okay, let's do one more example below that. If I had 3c plus 2 plus 2c plus 4, we have like terms. 3c and 2c are like terms. 2 and 4 are like terms. So we could add 3c and 2c together, which makes 5c. We can add 2 and 4 together, which makes 6. And that would be simplified. All right, a review of the distributive property. If we have a number in front of parentheses, like this, the number in front needs to be multiplied by everything inside the parentheses. So 2 times a just becomes 2a, because you have 2a's, it's 2a. 2 times 2 becomes 4, and that would be all that we do there. We can't add these together because they're not like terms. 2 has an a and 4 doesn't, so that's all that we can do. Okay, factoring is the exact opposite of distributing. So if I would start with 2a plus 4, I have to figure out what the greatest common factor is. Greatest common factor is the biggest number that goes into both of those terms evenly. Okay, greatest common factor between 2 and 4 is 2. And then what I do is I divide each term by the greatest common factor. So 2a divided by 2 is just a. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And I get back the original problem that I had. Just like multiplying and dividing are opposites of each other, distributing and factoring are opposites of each if other. If I had okay. 4b plus 12, I'd find the greatest common factor again. What's the biggest number that goes into 4 and 12? If we're not sure, we can start listing factors of 4 and 12 until we find the biggest factor that is the same in both of them. That would be the greatest common factor. So if I have 4 and 12, start listing factors. 1 goes into 4, 4 times. 2 goes into 4, 2 times. Since we went in the middle, we're done. 1 goes into 12, 12 times. 2 goes into 12, 6 times. 3 goes into 12, 4 times. We went in the middle again, and we're done. Now we can see the biggest number in both of those is 4. So the greatest common factor, the GCF, is 4. All right. This is our original problem. Make sure we can still see it there. So what we're going to do is put our greatest common factor in front of the parentheses, and then divide both of these terms by our greatest common factor. 4b divided by 4 is just b. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So after we factor, we get 4 times b plus 3. And that is all we can do. It actually looks less simplified than what we started with, but factoring is a skill that is used in a lot of different things. And this is just one piece of it that we're going to learn so far. Okay? So that's all the notes as we get started on the first standard in this unit.